this you will clean like this using the isopril based wipes pretty easy to do and here you cannot just blow it out because it's wet dust inside just use some hot water to flush it the heat sink radiator just wash only this part do not put water there only this part which could be clogged by dust particles the same as well as there and do the same with the fan just wash them you cannot blow it this dust is everywhere and it's wet dust just wash it out so basically after you use the hot water and you flushed from the wet dust you cannot use vacuum because the dust is wet the only way how it could be removed is hot water or enough amount of isopril liquid you can lay it down so while it, it's drying you can clean the GPU use isopril based wipes make sure that you removed everything because it's very important all this can cause a short circuit on a GPU if not removed while cleaning the chip GPU itself I noticed that there is a lot of let's say not a lot but the thermal compound is covering the distance between the chips that's why I'm using the small tip I'm putting the base April liquid rag on it and I'm doing like this between the chips in order to remove it I already partially removed it so watch this you see on the on the right side I removed the thermal compound between the chips on the left side it still does exist here I removed it here not make sure that you remove everything between these chips this is very important step when you made sure that you clean between these chips you see all surface is clean between be very careful when you're doing it because if you will pop up one of one of them you most likely will need the replacement of the whole video card in this case is possible because in this particular model the video card could be upgraded the next that you have to prepare you have to prepare the CPU the CPU have small amount of the thermal compound between chips as well so remove it you see the same situation it's covered by thermal compound remove it when you done with cleaning your CPU just simply install it back on and rotate the screw the mounting bracket clockwise after you done with cleaning it GPU heatsink, CPU heatsink make sure that you located this covers in the same place they was because they responsible for the better heat transfer between the heat sink and the GPU memory so make sure that they on place how they supposed to be since I was washing those heat sinks with the water there is small particles of liquid which is staying inside use the heat gun to heat them up to evaporate them the copper have very very nice
ability to transfer the heat. That's why when I was drying over here using the heat gun, the heat immediately evaporates all liquid inside of the heat sink. And here is very very hot. I can barely hold it in my hands. So make sure that you completely dry GPU heat sink and CPU heat sink. The fan have some liquid droplets as well. So just from the far distance do it because you do not want to melt it or you do not want to dry the cream inside like a lotion which moving the fan on a higher RPM so the fan will make these noises. You don't want to do it so do it from far away. When you dry in the on a lower setting when you dry in the fan itself. The next step that have to be performed by you is to apply the Arctic Silver 5 synthetic compound on GPU and CPU. Do not apply too much because if you will apply too much it will escape as well as it was in the case when the factory applied it and uh, the compound will stick on these chips which can cause a circuit short circuit the same on a CPU not too much not too little both on GPU and CPU for the perfect heat exchange between the cores and the heat sinks approximately this amount need to be applied on GPU and on CPU then using your finger through the glove do like this allocate it properly on a GPU the thin coat not too much not too little after you applied the thin coat on both CPU and GPU start assembling the heat sinks back on the first heat sink that you need to install will be the GPU heat sink because it was the last one that I removed so install it first GPU heat sink clockwise tighten the bolts apply medium pressure on four of them and when you tighten them on medium pressure apply them to the pressure to specs because you obviously you want your heat transfer between the heat sink and the GPU core will be on a high efficiency this is very important that's why the thermal compound was applied as well done with the GPU heat sink install the CPU heat sink when the CPU heat sink is installed the last one on your way is the fan itself when you install the fan you have to remember that this bolt this bolt and this bolt belongs to the protective cover itself so you don't need to mount the fan using those bolts you need to use this one bolt and you have to mount only here to put this bolt back on I recommend you use a magnetic tip to put him because you don't want to drop him inside you will need to remove the fan all over again make sure that you power the fan when you install the fan make sure that you tighten them very well but do not over tighten of course because you don't want to strip the strap inside and double make sure that you connected the fan power connector back on before you will put the protective cover you don't want your system to overheat with the new compound on this stage I recommend you only to put one bolt in case if you did something wrong and your sister your system not gonna power on 
you can easily fix it. Don't put all screws, just put one screw to temporarily mount the back cover. Install the battery back on and check your system. The fan is on. Before I did this, it was always on. Currently we have 30 F. Before it was always going to 60, 70. Let's wait for 5 minutes and check the results. GPU itself cannot run on a maximum capacity of it, on a battery power. So plug it to the external AC source. So after testing the system, what? opening what some it? games, some movies. Looks like sand. The temperature do not go higher than 47, 48 after 15 minutes of running. Before I did this, it will be already 68 by now on a GPU core. I'm monitoring the GPU core. Thanks for watching. This was overheating issue on MSI 780JT. So after running the system for approximately let's say half an hour the temperature doesn't go more than 51. Before the procedure was done it will be 70-75 by now. Thanks for watching my tutorial for solving the issue on MSI, overheating issue on MSI JT780. Make sure that your thermal compound is on place and you clean the, da the wet dust away. Actually this laptop also has the additional fan to completely put all the heat off, if I will put it on, it will drop to 48, 47.